everyone and thank you for watching my channel. This is my first beauty blog ever and I'm very excited to be starting this beauty channel because I'm very passionate about makeup and skincare and fashion and trends and everything like that. I also do makeup. I do makeup on myself obviously. I do makeup on other people. I work for a beauty retailer. I'm not going to tell you who it is because I don't want to look again biased towards any brand or product because I love all brands and all products. But this vlog is mainly going to be about beauty. Um, I might throw in some stuff about food because I love some food. Who doesn't love food? I can do some food reviews. I can do book reviews. I can do movie reviews. Um, my boyfriend loves to read so I can definitely review books. Um, anything like that, this channel will probably just go where the moon will take me. <laughs> Um, I'm also going to talk about so today's video. I'm going to talk about my Allure Beauty Box. I got this complimentary in the mail. Stay. Okay. So, in this cute little beauty box that I got, I got a all-in-one beauty treatment, which is from Spongella. It's a Freesia Pear body sponge. It is infused with lotion in it already very cool it's kind of hard right now it's actually really soft in the middle but the outside is hard so once you get it wet I feel like it'll be a really nice loofa so I definitely want to try this this looks really really nice um, I got a Freematic eyeshadow I don't know what this word is so I'm not gonna try and say it um, but this is a really really pretty color I haven't swatched it yet but I will swatch it and I'll tell you how it is it's a really like pretty gold color I like it a lot um, I think that would be really nice. I also got Tatcha. This is a Tatcha Indigo Soothing Silk Body Butter. I love silk body butter. I love lotion and body butter in general because I live in upstate New York and it's very cold and you get very dry and I definitely think that moisturizing your skin is really good. Um, this looks kind of funky but I smells really good. Really good. So I'm excited to try that. I also got Rio J. Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Mask, which I absolutely love. Deep conditioning hair masks. I love anything with hair. I am trying my best to get a new hair routine, so if you guys have any products that you want to suggest to me. I have naturally wavy hair. I have very dry ends, very oily scalp. Um, if you have anything that works for you, that would be great if you wanted to recommend it to me. I can review it. I can try it myself. I can tell you how it goes. Um, I definitely want to learn how to style my hair. That is my other big goal in life is to become a cosmetologist, to be able to know how to do hair. That would be great. That would be so great. <laughs> um, I also got Chlorine Dry Shampoo, because you can't go wrong with any dry shampoo. I think that this probably smells really good. Oh, I didn't smell the other one. I smell the other one. That smells pretty good from what I can smell. Let me smell this one. Yep, it's very earthy. It's nice. I like it. I can't wait to use it. I also got a full-size volumizing mascara from Mally, which is a very popular cosmetics brand. I don't know exactly where they sell it, but I hear very good things about it. So this is full-size. I got this full-size thing. These are two like good size, travel size, deluxe sample size little dudes. Um, this eyeshadow is a good size. I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, I have a lot of eyeshadow and I'm not going to use it every single day. So it's a very good size. I can use it to use the bottom. I can do it on the top, whatever you want. This is a pretty decent size. This is pretty good too. <laughs> and then the sponge is definitely got to be full size because I don't think you can make them any bigger. I'm really passionate about these top five products that I want to tell you all about. Okay, so my number five product would be any kind of brow um, product. If you don't have any brows, if you have some brows, if you don't do your brows, I would definitely suggest doing your brows. Um, I absolutely love doing brows on myself and other people. I feel like it is one of the most important features of the face. Even if you just add, like, this is Gimme Brow from Benefit. Even if you add just some of this, this is just basically a brow tint with some fibers in it. Um, even if you just add this, it adds a little something. It brings your eyes out. Even if you're not wearing any other makeup, like when I go tanning, all I throw it on is my brows. I put some Gimme Brow on, throw it on, I got a little something something. <laughs> um, this is all the, also, bleh, <laughs> the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. It is super waterproof. I absolutely, absolutely love this. If you want a nice, defined brow shape, this is what you should do. 
Um, I also have Cabral from Benefit, which I really like as well. The brush is so tiny though, it comes on. I just don't have it with me right now. Um, the brush is so tiny, it's so tiny. I love it though. Um, but Anastasia does have a really, really good brow brush, and I would use that as well. Um, definitely use an angled brush. Do I have one sitting there? No. You definitely need the right brow color. Um, I like to do really, really dark brows. Personally, I like them on me and myself. Obviously, I'm not going to do gray brows. I'm not going to do black brows. But I am doing ones that are closer to this hair color and my natural brow color. So I think that that is a good way to judge how to get a good hair, um, eyebrow color. Um, my number four product on my top five must-have products would be a very good bronzer. Right now I have the NARS Contour Bronzer. I use a lot of it. I absolutely love it. It comes with a highlight. I feel like everybody should have a good bronzer. It warms up your face. You can throw a quick contour on. I definitely think that it's really, really good. If your makeup looks too light, you can put a bronzer on. If it's too dark, I don't know what you can do with a bronzer, but <laughs> it'll definitely help you um, even out your skin tone, give you a little bit of warmth. I really think that a bronzer is a really good everyday thing. You can wear it with or without foundation. Definitely think everybody should have a good bronzer. Um, my number three product would be a very good leave-in conditioner. This is my It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Absolutely love it. Super dry hair. This is fantastic. So I really think that everybody should get a good leave-in conditioner. It'll make your hair manageable and nice and soft. And obviously I don't necessarily just mean try this one. Try any good leave-in conditioner and see how it works for your hair because I think that it will be amazing. My, my next product, which is almost probably should be my number one, but it's my, well, yeah, it'll be my number three because I absolutely love it and adore it and I think everybody, should, everybody needs it. Um, this is a, this is the Water Drop Moisturizer from Dr. Jar. Um, this is a fantastic moisturizer for oily skin or dry skin. Um, I think that everybody should have moisturizer. I don't even necessarily just mean this one. Um, Ola Henriksen has a wonderful moisturizer. It's called Sheer Transformation Oil Free. Really, really good for people who are starting out. I get very, very passionate about moisturizer because I'm a very, very oil oily skinned person and I used to think that wearing a moisturizer would make me more oily and that is not the case. Um, if you wear a moisturizer and you're oily, you are actually going to give your skin more hydration. If you're oily and you don't wear a moisturizer and you're producing so much oil, you're technically like depriving your skin of hydration. Your skin is saying, help! I need moisture. So it's overproducing oil. Your skin is technically dehydrated. So that is why your makeup doesn't sit on your face as well. It doesn't smooth out as well. It needs moisture. Day and night, moisturize. Um, dry skin, definitely, I feel like you you guys already wear moisturizer. Definitely would recommend it day and night. Any kind of moisturizer. If you want to suggest me any good ones for oily skin, I would love that. Um, I also have really other other, I have really other good ones. <laughs> I have other good suggestions too for oily skin if this is not a top one or the Ula Henriksen one. Um, Bare Minerals has a good one too. Um, definitely think that everybody should moisturize. Uh, I think that you will break out less. Your makeup's gonna go on nicer. You're gonna use less foundation. Your skin's gonna look radiant, dewy, fantastic. Your skin tone's gonna even out, and it's also gonna help anti-age. So whether you are like 13 or 99, it doesn't matter, just moisturize your skin. Especially if you live here where I do, it's very cold. I definitely need more moisture than ever. I slather it on at night. Um, definitely at night, definitely wear it at night because that is when you lose the most hydration. You are not eating, you're not drinking for about eight plus hours. You are losing so much hydration in your skin that you need to moisturize. You should drink a big bottle of water before you go to bed, which I don't, but you should too. <laughs> we should all try. Um, so yes, definitely, definitely, definitely moisturize. <laughs> um, my number two product would be, along with more hydration, coconut oil. This is like running out, but this is my favorite, favorite, one of my almost favorite beauty products. I use it all over my body. I use it. In my hair, I use it on my eyelashes at night because it's like leave, doing a leave-in conditioner for your eyelashes. It doesn't hurt your eyes. 
If you're gonna moisturize your face, you're gonna moisturize your hair, you might as well moisturize your eyelashes and your brows. Because they're their hair, they need moisture. They get plush and nice, and if you wear a lot of mascara like I do, they get brittle and dry, and you don't want that to happen. So, I would definitely recommend any oil. Um, I really like coconut oil because it is technically, it feels like a dry oil, so when I put it on my body, I don't feel like sticky and greasy and gross. Um, almond oil is great. Argan oil is really, really good. Josie Man has a really good argan oil. Um, you can use it literally everywhere. Literally everywhere. Um, I don't know so much about coconut oil in your face. That depends on your skin and how you react to it. For me, I feel like I would break out because the molecules of coconut oil are so much bigger than like argan oil or any oil in a moisturizer, so I feel like it would clog my pores. But the rest of my body and my eyes, it also helps anti-age all around here while I sleep because I don't make coarse wrinkles. <laughs> um, definitely, definitely, definitely love my coconut oil. I also got a bottle for about $2. They're sending it to me through this website. I don't remember right off the top of my head, but I will link it in the comments box if you want to try a really good coconut oil. For about $2, you just pay the shipping. They're going to send you a 15 ounce bottle, which is a little bit bigger than the one that I have. So I'm extremely excited about that. I've been tracking it and I want, want it to come like now. <laughs> um, my t number one number one <laughs> beauty product would be eyeshadow primer any eyeshadow primer i have smashbox in this hand and urban decay in this hand i it doesn't matter what eyeshadow you have i would definitely try different formulations depending on your skin and what you prefer um too faced also has a glitter glue which is really really good for sticking on loose glitter um eyeshadow primer is a godsend if you if your eyelids get greasy and creasy, <laughs> greasy and creasy, um, if they get greasy and creasy, definitely, definitely, definitely try an eyeshadow primer. Um, I don't care what eyeshadow you use, it's not the eyeshadow, it's usually the primer. Um, try, I mean, you could use the cheapest eyeshadow and if you don't have a primer, it's not going to work. It's not going to blend well, it's not going to give you good pigmentation. It's not, it's not going to stay. Like, it, none of it's going to stay. Even if you use really, really good high-end eyeshadow, still not going to stay. It's not going to stay. It's not going to blend. You should definitely try an eyeshadow primer. I would highly suggest it. Um, it's also going to help keep any of, like, your brow products from falling because it's, like, right here. That's how, that's how far I put my eyeshadow primer, like, all the way up here. Um, you only need a pea size mount, like, teeniest bit because otherwise you're going to defeat the purpose, you're going to make your eyelids oilier. So if you get a full, this is a mini, but if you get the full size, you're going to let, it's going to last you forever, like even if you use it every day. Even if you don't use it every day, like even if you don't wear eyeshadow every day and you just wear the eyeshadow primer, it's not going to give you those greasy like lines of like oiliness that I hate. Um, so definitely eyeshadow primer, definitely, 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 definitely. Any kind is great. I think that you'd love it. Oh, it'll also keep your mascara on better and your eyeliner. Any eyeliner, your top, bottom, top, or your bottom. So, definitely number one recommended. Recommended? Recommend. So, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it today. I definitely wanted to let everybody know that if you want to suggest any products, to me for me to try or to feature on the show I definitely would love to do that I definitely want to show you products that you've been wanting to try what the ingredients are anything like that I am like an encyclopedia of ingredients for products so I will do the research I promise I love doing stuff like that I'm like a straight nerd um, this video is not sponsored by Allure I promise you I am doing this as a thank you to them um, none of my videos are biased. They're all honest opinions about everything. I will give you my honest opinion. Why? Because I want to. <laughs> um, I am very, very excited to start this channel. I want to say thank you all for watching again because I'm really excited. Um, definitely want to keep this a very positive like environment. So, I mean, if you have anything negative to say, please just don't say anything at all. Um, all I want is positivity and... Some constructive criticism is fine. 
as long as you're nice about it. If you want to suggest things to me, if you want to suggest topics, anything like that. If you want to do eyebrow tutorial, blush tutorial, anything, suggest it to me. I need ideas too. I'm just learning, you're just learning, everybody's just learning, and that's all I want it to be about. Um, so my next video is going to be all about this little baby that I got. This is Scouted by Sephora. Yes. Scouted by Sephora, Sephora Favorites. It's got a bunch of goodies in it. I'm going to do a review on it. Um, I also got Diva Curl Ultra Moisturizer, Moisturizer Sampler Kit that I'm very, very excited to try. Very excited because my hair is very wavy and I want to see if this works. Um, I also got some nice Bulgari, Bulgari Eau de Parfum perfume. I'm going to try these out. These are really, really pretty looking. Very excited to try these. So, my next video is going to be all about reviewing those products. If you want me to add anything into it, definitely leave comments in the comments box. Let me know what you thought. Um, definitely give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe. Thank you so much!